a friend of mine sent me something about you, and it said um, it said that you were the elected sheriff, and they're taking away all your ability to perform the duties of sheriff and turning you pretty much into a mortgage expert or a mortgage operator with a gun. Absolutely right. Yeah. Well, they 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 were successful at doing this with the last administration. The last sheriff, they retired Delaware trooper, decided he was going to do whatever they said to do. But the fact is, he realized he couldn't function as a as a sheriff without having some law enforcement training or authority or what have you. So he sought something that was uh, not politically uh, upsetting, if you will. And he went to the state constable's office and got state constable certification. Well, I don't need state constable certification because the sheriff was here 300 years before the constable's office ever existed. The very fact of the matter is that common law mentions the sheriff and the constable's office uh, as far as their powers are concerned, the powers of arrest are concerned. Uh, in fact, they call them town constables or village constables back in the day. And the fact is, I don't need you know that agency to bless me when I've already had the, I have the blessing of the Constitution. For me to say that I need them is to basically say the Constitution is not good enough. Right. So you were elected into this problem. Yes. And I, and I was aware of it before. And I, 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 that was one of the reasons I ran is because this guy was running the office down to the point of what you just said, a mortgage expert with a gun. And I had to do something about it. Man. So, um, and they continue to escalate on you, right? They've already passed this stuff and now they want to keep going or? Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're coming at me from, from the state level, and they're coming at me from the county level. The county just fired one of my deputies, uh, usurped in me. I didn't even know that they had done it until after they had served the deputy with a, a notice of termination. And they did it. It was based on unfounded conjecture, and the only reason they did it was to attack me. What's their What's their point, right? You know, the, the sheriff has always protected... Uh, residents of the county and the police ha or i'm sorry the cities have their own private police forces but well, i mean what what does sussex county have for any kind of protection for the county what do they do they were the only county that i know of in the country that contracts the state police to be to be the uh, police of the county and i also will say this they do it without they do it upon contract, but they do it without report. They sign the money over, and there's no accountability. There's no accountability report. There's no quarterly report as to how that money was spent. It's just spent as needed by the state police, and they do what they want. Now, let me re let me say something. I'm not condemning the state police. They're, they're doing the best job that they can. However, it, it's becoming very apparent that they can't handle everything anymore. There's just so much happening uh, that's going on, they can't address it all. And I have, I have said to them, I'm not seeking to be a county police. First of all, it goes against the principles that I have that I think the sheriff is important as an elected body and not a, an appointed county police system. That's one thing. And the other thing is, uh, you know, I've only got a few deputies. I'm a small, you know, a small sheriff's office. But in the same token, uh, there is a role for the sheriff, and for them to undermine the powers of the office makes it very very difficult for me to go out and say, how can I fulfill the role if I am not law enforcement? So, Oh, my God. Where do we go from here? What, well, what, what do I... This is, why I, this is why I sued them, and where I'm at with this right now is that I need people to understand, uh, to go to help me on this issue. In fact, if you... Uh, take down my email address. It's horse force one, all spelled out. It's the animal, the horse, the animal, and like police force, F L R C E O N E at AOL dot com. Okay, yeah, definitely. And how can how can we help? Tell me. I have uh, um, Richard Mack and Sheriff Arpaio's on board with this thing, and in fact, we, my attorneys, uh, I've, I've opted to sue, and I've done so, and the Legacy Foundation, an Iowa-based uh, constitutional foundation, has come to my rescue uh, to help me raise money, and it is, it is the Legacy, the Legacy Foundation, or LegacyFoundation.us forward slash Sussex, S-U-S-S-E-X. Okay, well, we appreciate you sticking to the Constitution. That's very important.
Well, thank you. That's what I'm what I'm founding everything on, uh, and I'll continue to do that. Um, because l- let me tell you this too: um, nowhere I went to the CSPOA with Richard Mack, and I stood in a room full of sheriffs, and I stood up and I said, Does, "Do any of you, or can any of you, make the claim that someone has come to you?" Uh, in your county and said you don't have any powers of arrest. And no one raised their hand. I did the same thing at the National Sheriff's Association. No one, no one stood up. And I said, well, I'm the only one in the country, and I am the bleeding sheriff. I need your help. And if you don't help me, it's going to be a matter of time before it comes to your county. And it's already been attempted, as you know, in Arizona, South Carolina. South Carolina was victorious, thank God. Uh, the sheriff shoved them to the county council back there into the hole that they that they deserve to be in. Um, but in the same token, he used the Constitution to do it. So, And that's what I'm doing. But the, the, the essence of this thing is um, Joe Biden's son, Bo Biden, is the one who is coming out against me. And this is all done in a way to undermine the role of the sheriff in Delaware. They want to open it up so that there is no checks and balances in the way of the uh, of the elected office of sheriff to hold them back for future endeavors. Okay. And we must fight it. And I think this is ground zero for it. You mentioned sheriff and a challenge to a sheriff. Delaware, Sussex County, Kent County, Newcastle County is ground zero. I would remind all my listeners that this is a stated objective of the current administration to have a national police force elimination of local police forces and any control that you may have over those, electing them or, or whatnot. That's under attack right now, and Sheriff Christopher is on the front line, so we need to help him. Or you're going to get your national police force. Hopefully you don't get that. Thank you, Sheriff Christopher. You're very welcome, and thank you for the opportunity to speak. And uh if any of your listeners want to call me, please tell them to feel free or email me. Um, I'm available to answer any questions. Okay, man. Well, Godspeed. Take care. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you.